Let me tell you something about soil mechanics. I, I, I'm teaching you uh, continuum mechanics, and there is a universal convention about science in continuum mechanics. Continuum is a little more science in the sense more theoretical because it's used not only by engineers, so there are many physicists and uh, other people that use continuum mechanics for purposes, Astro, astrophysics, many, many, uh, several disciplines in, in, in science use continuum mechanics. And for this, the criterion I just sh used so far, both for the, st for the stress state and also for the Moore, Moore circle, uh, is the one that I told you, okay? So in the case of Moore circle, we say that uh, the, 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 more the, the, the convention for the, for the, for the uh, uh, st uh, stresses is that normal stresses are positive in, com in compression and they are negative, uh, if, if they are negative, or they are negative in, in positive in tension, negative in compression, and as for the tangential stresses, they are positive if they turn around the interior of the plane in clockwise and negative counterclockwise, okay? What happens in soil mechanics? Soil mechanics, soil guides, work with some materials. With typically have almost no strength in tension. 90% of, of the time, they neglect the tensile strength of the material. Typically, a sand, a soil, but think of a sand. Sand can be compressed, right? But tensile stresses of the sand is ridiculously uh, small, very tiny. If you're thinking of, of a rock, well, rock has some tensile stresses too, but negligible with respect to the uh, strength in compression. So they are used to work in, in that their material and their um, problems also, they also deal on, posit on, on materials that essentially are incompressive stresses. So they, when they plot the value of a stress, according to our criterion, they would have to plot, in general, minus 3, minus 25, minus 320, okay? So they decided to skip the minus. And they say, well, since we are always dealing with negative compressive stresses, why, instead of what the continuum mechanics guys don't do, why don't we just uh, establish our sign criterion, which is positive stresses are or stresses are considered positive when they are, instead of tensile, positive in compression, they said, okay? And since we change the sign of the positive stresses, let's also change the, the, of the normal stresses, let's also change the sign of the compressive stresses. So, when dealing, when just with dealing in soil mechanics, let's consider a different sign criterion, which is, for the stresses, we'll consider positive normal stresses in compression and negative in tension. And as for the tangential stresses, they are positive if they move counterclockwise and negative if they move uh, clockwise. So let's denote by a star the stresses with the sign criterion of soil mechanics and no stars, the stresses by sign criterion with soil mechanics. What is the construction, the geometrical construction that is implied? If we had started with this criterion instead of that criterion, what would be the construction, the rules for the construction and the formulas? Okay, you are clever and you know that that, but this has to be small, slowly proven, right? Look, what happens? Look, according to the criterion, the same stress state, the same stress state will have uh, if, uh, if this stress is positive, then uh, this stress is tensile, in according to the, the soil uh, mechanics criterion, would be negative. If this stress is, is, stress is three tensile, according to um, soil mechanics, the value of this stress would be minus three. And also the tangential, if this is three in that sense, according to the uh, soil mechanics criterion, the criterion would be minus three. So uh, stresses change, uh, the, the same stress state, according, uh, uh, depending on what is the context in which are working, change the sign, both the normal and, and, and tensile, okay? What is the consequence of that? Okay, let, let's see. For instance, what happened 
what will happen if we have that principal stresses according to the, the continuum mechanics criterion. For instance, sigma 1, which is the larger one, is tensile and going to the directions, and sigma 2, which is compressive 1, is the negative. So that's why this is the larger and that's the smaller, because this is something positive, this is something negative. Okay? Look, there is a mistake in that plot. I couldn't correct it. It's going to be corrected. These stresses here should be the same because I'm referring to the same stress state, okay? So that, that arrow should go uh, outside and this arrow should go inside, like in here, okay? So the same stress criterion, the same stress state. Now, according to the criterion of the, principle of the soil mechanics, what would be? Okay, this sigma 1 would be minus 3, okay? And this sigma 2 would be plus 3. So, well, sigma 1 would be my sigma, uh, they, they would change the sign here, according to the soil mechanics criterion, and that would change the, the sign. But also the name, because if we keep the context of sigma 1 is the largest one, and sigma 2 is the smaller one, according to the, uh, uh, the soil mechanics criterion, sigma 1 would be the most compressive stress, and sigma 2 the less compressive stress. Whereas according to the soil me uh, soil, um, continuum mechanics uh, criterion, sigma 1 would be the most tensile and sigma 2 the less tensile. Okay? So imagine that this is 3 and this is 3. In, soil, in, in continuum mechanics, this would be, sigma 1 would be minus 3, plus 3, and sigma 2 minus 3. According to soil mechanics, si this sigma would, would be plus 3 and this minus 3. So this would be sigma 1. So sigma 1, uh, uh, the, the first principal stress according to the soil mechanics criterion, would be minus sigma 2, the second principal stress according to the soil mechanics criterion. And sigma 2 star equal minus sigma 1. So the name also changed. Okay, now let's consider the formulas that provide the first and second principle, or the stresses in a certain plane, in a certain plane that we obtain uh, starting from the soil, uh, the, the continuum mechanics criterion, which were this one. What would be these stresses if now apply here the soil mechanics criterion? Well, instead of sigma beta, we would place minus sigma beta star. Instead of tau beta, we would place minus tau beta star, right? Instead of sigma 1, then according to this, we would take, would place minus sigma 2. And instead of sigma 2, minus sigma 1. Okay? And the angle beta, a certain angle beta that forms an angle beta with sigma 1, then the angle with the new sigma 1 star would be the, 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 the 2 beta is 2 beta star minus p. Because the stresses have changed. Okay? The, the directions have changed. Beta star is the direction of the new plane, the, the plane on which I want to consider the, the, the stress state, with respect to this sigma 1 star, where beta is the stress of the same plane with respect to sigma 1. So they differ in pi, in pi over 2. So two, twice this, this angle differ in pi. So here, 2 beta is equal, equal 2 beta minus p, which is minus cosine of 2 beta. So by replacing that, what do we obtain? By just then multiplying by minus 1, replacing cosine, cosine, cos, cosine that of 2 beta minus p, 2 beta star minus p, it's minus cosine of 2 beta star, we obtain this formula, which exactly are the same than before. Okay? So with this sign, uh, criterion of changing signs, the formulas, which are the starting point for the construction of the Moore circle, are going to be the same in terms of the uh, using the soil mechanics criterion. So everything else is the same. The criterion is always the same. The existence of the Mohr circle is the same. The pole, everything else is the same. The formulas are the same. So we can say that the construction of the Mohr circle, everything is the same. The only thing different, only different thing is that we have to consider different signs for sigma and tau, opposite signs in one and another case and another case with uh, 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 just changing the signs, okay? 